Exactly. Don't put your finger over that orange part because that's where the needle comes out. A little higher on your leg. Yep, right there, right there. Now push against your leg. I need to be sitting down. So, this has been really hard on the boys. Jeremiah, my introvert especially, he's used to alone time in his room in the afternoons. And they don't have that. They don't have good internet access for their Alexa and things they're used to. And um, we also don't have power for all of those. So, Alexa wouldn't really need good internet access, but she needs... A battery pack and we don't have the money to buy that right now and so it's a lot of changes and things that are hard for them so we thought this afternoon we'd take a day off we've been here a week and then we've done walks on the beach and we did let the boys kind of run in the surf on one of those we haven't had a beach day and so we couldn't spend the whole day on the beach we met with somebody this morning in Buxton and had a great visit um, and then I found somewhere to upload the vlog, which was nice. So we decided to try and come out here. KJ picked 2230 because that was low tide and we heard that was good shelling, it was low tide, but um, there's a ton of people out here. Uh, and I don't know if that's a summer thing or a Memorial Day thing, but it's a thing. Anyway, we didn't find any shells, but the boys are having a blast. There's a sandbar out there. Elijah's got to go through it pretty deep to get to it. And then we've discussed surf camps. Jeremiah wants to do a surf camp. We'll just have to see how that works out. But it's a beautiful day. I'm extremely tired. We got in at two o'clock last night. Um, Elijah had an anaphylactic reaction. We don't know what to, and got an ambulance ride and some, um, what do they give you? Epinephrine and an albuterol treatment on the way. Um, it was pretty scary. I panicked even with all my emergency service training a little. But we called 911 and everything. I mean, the ambulance came and got them. They did a great job, got them to the hospital. This morning, um, we had to get up and move campgrounds. We had already decided to move from Frisco Woods to Cape Point. Uh, there's more grass and space to play here. It's more level. The boys can ride their bikes. It's also um, more unused. I don't know what the right word is. It's empty. Like, there's not a lot of people staying here. There are people next to us today, but then they're gone and like, there's nobody near us. And so, um, it just gives you a little more freedom to be a little louder. I can play my ukulele. And so, anyway, we had to get up early this morning because we had to check out by noon where we were, but I wanted to get an EpiPen because we don't know what caused Elijah's reaction and, um, epinephrine will open his airway if he had another reaction and so I was having some anxiety about not having access to that we would have to call an ambulance and wait again so we tried to go get medicine and it was a whole mess Medicaid is a mess we are very blessed we have amazing friends I told KJ I emotional ran it on Facebook about the whole situation and he just asked for help you know, we, we didn't have much money in our bank account. Uh, EpiPens are expensive. We knew we couldn't buy out of pocket and wait to be reimbursed. So um, we reached out and people all over, you know, our, our 
family, the family of God reached out from all over, people I didn't even expect. You know, somebody said, well, we had money that we were saving for something and it didn't happen or we didn't need to spend it and we feel like God's telling us to give it to you. And we had two or three people tell us that. We had somebody tell us, you know, we're kind of in the same situation and we've been through some of what you're going through and we want to encourage you. And um, so God used them to bless us. and. So it's just been long. I told KJ, I said, well, our first two weeks of church planning are, <laughs> but um, my 10 year old in the car last night said, mom, the devil doesn't want us to do what we're doing. And that was such an encouragement to me. Like he sees the spiritual warfare and he knows that we're doing good for God and that there is a real enemy that doesn't like that. And anyway, it was a blessing to me. They were watching and they are learning. And, um, Them. You always take them to the side of the road they were going to. Alright, do you remember what it what it was? Twist that off. Okay. Pull the safety tab off. Hold it tight and push. And it clicks, okay? And that will give him one dose. But then you have to call an ambulance right away. Okay? Because they have to figure out what he's reacting to, if the reaction continues, he may need more dosages. Okay. It's going to hurt a bit. It's not going to hurt. It's, yeah. I did it to myself. Get that off. Yeah. Now hold it firmly. Don't put your finger over the orange part because that's where the needle comes out. A little higher on your leg. Yep, right there, right there. Now push against your leg. I need to sitting down. So this morning we are off to the Hallover Day Use area to do our third service here and we'll just see how that goes. We decided to change areas. <clears throat> they weren't sure about ramp 34 and how long it was going to be open because of the plovers, piping plovers. Piping, plover. It's a bird. Um, and they do their nesting and they shut the area of the beach down. <clears throat> but also it was a long walk over the boardwalk to the beach. And we were carrying chairs and carrying everything. We don't have a buggy because we're in the car. We can't carry a bunch of stuff. Um, and so the hall over day use area has restrooms and it's right there. It's easier for us to get stuff on and off the beach. Um, it's actually a little more frequented. So we might get people that just show up and are like, hey, we do wanna worship. So we'll see how it goes, but no matter who shows up, we're gonna worship. This campground is so peaceful. I'm sorry if you hear wind noise, but uh, there's one tent camp there, an RV there. There's us, there's somebody there, but I mean, there's hardly anybody here during the week. It's crazy. So I tried to record on the GoPro and it wouldn't work, but 
We are outside the Yalpon Inn. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not very good at that. But uh, Betsy, who is an owner here, part owner here, has helped us tremendously. She's encouraged us. She has allowed us to um, upload the vlog here. So we came by this morning. We're sitting out in the car because we didn't want to intrude. And she came and got KJ and took him in for coffee. So I'm going to go see what's happening there and make sure all is well. But vlog 136 is live. <laughs> 